my name is Conor Raithby. I'm currently studying a level five uh, foundation degree at Yeovil College. Um, and at the moment I'm doing experimental project two and I've just created a music video uh, for, for the lovely uh, Molly Bridge, who is a extremely uh, talented singer songwriter. Um, so I've gone through all the stages of pre-production, production, and post-production. I'm at distribution now, and there's a few extra things I've done. I've just created a director's commentary, and now I'm doing a breakdown with um, another singer songwriter, a friend of mine, um, T-Bone Steak, as he goes by. But this is Stefan Wilkinson here. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Yeah, not bad at all. Thank you. Out of time. No, I haven't got long left. Stepping out of line. Gotta push your limit. Take an even bigger risk and do it undercover. If you see me, see when I see you sitting quietly or by yourself in the corner, all alone. You talking lost to other people? Will not think about my text. Could you please just look at your phone? So today we're just going to go through the music video. Um, I'm always going to talk a bit about it, sort of give our own thoughts on it, um, and that's about it. So I think we're going to start. Yeah. Quite a bit of ASMR there. Yeah. Or Foley, should I say. Yeah. It's all quite good how you have the like it seems dark like black and white but it's not black and white mm, yeah it's yeah. just because of the it's light coming through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like that shot there i like that shot that's yeah it's one of my favorites that was good uh, the light coming through i really wanted a, i mean it's not as distinct as I, as I wanted it to be but i really wanted it to be like more or less pitch black and as you open it, you really get that light come yeah. through. But again, I just the time of day that it was, there just obviously wasn't much no. light, which is something I did actually talk about um, in my uh, post-production, was just to do with the light and the sun when it rises and sets, because we got to the end of the day and I was filming, and I left one of the outside shot scenes to the end, mm -hmm. and there was like barely any light. So <laughs> I managed to do it, but it was just it's something I think I'd need to take into account for the next one and looking at like time management. Yeah. That's lovely because that was really natural. The laughing, I, I said, you know. It's good that you didn't get too much in that frame as well. It's mainly just on the face, a like, small bit of the outside, like, yeah. around yeah, them, yeah, but yeah, yeah. mainly focused on the person. Yeah. What am I, going to do if we I love her voice in this, I think it really matches the slow shots. There's no quick pans, zooms, or... It's nice and relaxed. Yeah. It matches the tempo of the film as well. What we have is delicate. Like the silhouette, very Roger Deakins cinematography yeah. there. So we have to take care of it, and I know that was very well done as well. Yeah, that was quite difficult. It's it? quite smooth. Sure to get that. Yeah. It took just it was just trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> Should have lit the hallway a bit more there to see him a bit. I think maybe it was a little too dark, but no, I think it was good. It was I okay, think yeah. I think it was should, how it should have been actually and the way you filmed it from the mirror with him standing there and then that straight was, away yeah, going yeah yeah you've managed to capture loads of emotion in this very well like thank you just from the way you've shot things Yeah. And the 
contrast between yeah. the two there. The colour grading on that was good as well, to show the two differences. Thank you. That's all right. So there you go. That was a music video. So overall, what did you what did you, what did you think of it? I think it was very well filmed to like match the music that went with it. I think that you managed to capture like lots of the details that most people wouldn't capture like in a film, probably capturing the facial expressions and the emotions, yeah, making yeah. it look very natural as well. Yeah. Like nothing was forced, it just seemed like it flowed really well as well. So everything was really good, spot on to be honest. Sweet. Thank you very much, thank you. Yeah. No, I, I gotta say I really enjoyed making this one. It was really fun mm. doing it. Um, and sort of the design process from the start uh, from the start to the end you know yeah. um, so obviously you were on were you on set when I did Maple Leaf or I might have or were you away I think I might have been away I, I, I was still I remember I think, talking to you yeah. about it and I showed you the video uh, the music video that Molly Bridge had done the um not the music video, but the music uh, that she did, uh, Maybe I Love You Too, that was oh, using yeah, the B-roll yeah. of Maple Leaf. I was going to use that, um, and I was doing it, and it, it matched it, but it just didn't click for me. No. And as you'll know with your with your music, yeah. that you know, you know when it something time. works. Yeah, it takes because, time to get something yeah, to sound and correct. And you'll know when, whether, it doesn't have to be a whole song, it could just be like a line, it could be a harmony, it could be, I don't know, anything, anything, anything yeah. that you'll know, okay, that's what I wanted, that's mm -hmm. spot on. So with that, I just wasn't feeling it with the first one, it was like beautiful music, it matched, but I was like, for some reason this is just not just what I, I envisioned. A little bit more. Yeah. yeah. So it was after I did, I then put Delicate in and it, and it felt more of a match. Mm -hmm. but, Other than the music, how do you think this music video went? Do you think it was good? Yeah, <clears throat> things you like, dislike. I, I mean, overall, I, I am quite happy, sort of, with the the story. I think that's all. That's the whole thing of this was just getting across um, how that was to me, because you know, other people when they hear that, when they hear the lyrics and know that the song's called Delicate, it touches them in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, they could go, "Do you know what that reminds me of?" Someone could say, "That reminds me of when we lost our granddad," or, or someone could actually go, "Do you know what?" Actually, on another note, that reminds me when we went to I don't know Centre Park or something. And anyway, yeah. so it's 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 memories. It's it's because delicate. You know, it could be about memories, love, family, Just relationship, loads of anything things, you yeah. feel. And so that's what I loved most about this song when I chose it is because that this is how I interpreted it, and I think it's lovely trying to get your your vision across, especially using that. Making the audience feel a type of way about what we've just seen as well mm -hmm. is very, I think this is a very difficult thing to do. Yeah. So managing to pull the emotion out of something or just like out of someone who you're filming yeah. and like portray that into the audience is like a very good thing to do. Well, that's exactly why I used my grandparents in there because I would, when I was writing about it in pre-production, it was like, right, when you have emotion, you know, emotional films or music videos or when you talk about love and stuff like that yeah. you're not gonna you know it's it's either teenage love which is another thing quite common it's, you know yes. cute animals baby it's stuff like that they're yeah. things that make you go oh it's emotional and you know old people when you look at old people when you look at their lives and that they're in love yeah. and and i just think that whole thing was just such a it's like that's what i want to use um and, it, and it's just nice because it's nice to then have your own my family element into it you know it's more of an attachment to it yeah exactly it? and that's what this whole music more meaningful is about. as well yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but overall as i said i am happy with it there's a few uh, lighting that I think that is the main thing there's a few shots I looked at that I thought you might want to change yeah, a bit yeah that, uh, that I, I thought I could do in editing okay. and there's a lot of stuff I think actually on the day of production on set there's a, there's things I could do more it's practical yeah. yeah and and so try and light that up but nothing went wrong I was happy with my time management I was happy with the outcome the process yeah. and overall I said I was really happy it's had really good reviews for it you yep. made people cry, which is the main thing. That's what I, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. And Molly loves it, which is all also a bonus there, obviously. Yeah, she yeah, made of it, but, um, <laughs> but no, that was, so that's overall. But thank you for listening, yeah, and fine, thank you for worries. joining this today. This is the only episode there's going to be on the Rafe <laughs> podcast here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and um, this has been the breakdown of the music video Delicate by Rafe Productions. And I just before I end, just want to say a huge thank you to Molly Bridge. Uh, for um, sort of you know lending me your song to do this um, because um, you are fantastic. This is such a beautiful uh, piece of music, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's really the, the good, song actually. is amazing. So thank you to you and thank you to everyone else on the channel subscribed and that and helping me with sort of Maple Leaf with its awards and everything. And here's to a great 2023 with more films to come. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, and thank you to Bob. No worries. <laughs>